Gemma Wildermuth of CREATE on your campus. It's so good to see you here. We're glad to have you along today for a project I have planned using clear plastic transparency sheets or, um, let's see, page protectors. So I have a transparency sheet here and a page protector here. I'm going to use bits of these that I'm going to cut into smaller strip pieces or smaller strips and they're going to help me create uh, kind of a silly faces stick, if you will. So I'm using a paper towel roll and I've worked on it in a way that I'm going to show you so that when I turn this clear sleeve, I can change the faces I have. So I have two faces going and on each level. So it's a fun thing to kind of work out different face ideas and have fun exploring them. This one has a different one and amazing how things can change with the expression. So this can be about expressions and emotions or moods. It can be just about crazy characters. It can be about hairstyles, whatever things you want it to be about. So we're gonna use a paper towel roll. We're gonna use a, a white sheet of paper that we're actually gonna divide in half. So I'm taking a white sheet of paper and I'm folding it in half and I'm only going to use half of it, the, the width ways, and I'm going to need the transparency sheet that I told you, cut into strips, so they'll be about two inches uh, tall and then about five and a half, six inches wide. And so they'll end up being about like this. And then we're going to use a Sharpie marker to do the drawing. So I've already started drawing out for you. So this is the half sheet of paper that I told you about. And then I actually folded it in half one more time. And in the center, I drew three faces. And I only put mouths uh, or a mouth feature, this is my idea of a mustache, on the each side. So right in the middle on each one. So that when we put it on the roll, and we're going to put it on here. I'm going to switch rolls here. So I'm going to put it on this roll. And I'm just going to wrap it around so that they kind of overlap at the sides. And I'll tape it down. So just a little bit of that clear tape I mentioned just to hold it down on the sides. And we want to do it kind of next to all three of the faces so that when we put the clear sheet on top, it goes smoothly. So now we have the face, and then we're going to add our transparency sheet. So I've got so many transparency sheets in front of me. So I'm going to take one and I'm going to put it with no face on it. I'm going to put it on top and I'm overlapping it on the side next to a face, but not over a face because I don't want my face to have tape on it. So I'm trying to position it so that it won't be on a face when it's um, sideways. So now I have a clear sheet, but no face. Now I'm gonna draw a face while it's in position, and I'm just gonna do really simple eyes on that one, and really kind of, that might be kind of confused on that one. So when I turn them and switch them around, I get a different look. So they won't necessarily line up exactly when you have them opposite. I have yet to perfect that part of it, but but we've got the general gist. And then I can even move it down, but you can do a clear section for each of these so that you can have six different faces like I showed you in my first example. I hope you like this idea of using transparency sheets one more time for something fun and explore your different ideas. We'll see you next time with another fun reuse idea. Have a great day. Bye-bye.